when you have to play songs, it's important to serve your band's own mental needs. So you have to be a certain amount of self-indulgent in the music that you play, of course, what you write, how you make music, what you do. But sometimes your set list has to be a little self-indulgent too, so the band feels inspired. Otherwise, it's no fun. That said, you kind of got to play the hits, you know what I mean? Because people pay to see your band and you, they want to have a good time, so they don't live in your everyday life. They see you once every three years, and if you don't play that song they love, they're pissed off. And I'd rather them be happy than me be happy. We do play some songs, once they were written, we never did not play them. There's not many, though. For so many years, we had this list in our rehearsal place, which is at our drummer's house. We had this, this cardboard on the wall, and it, there's something like 35 songs. And uh, especially once Joe Raposo, the, the newer bass player that we have, Joe Raposo, when he joined the band, these were the songs that he knew. For many years, that, that was what our well, that we didn't have the whole catalog anymore. We only had those songs. But I think what happens is sometimes you play a song for a really long time and it gets very uninspired and it loses its, the muse, you know, and everybody in the band, you can almost look around and people are like, ah. But what happens, I think, is that when, if I write a set list and I know that my band is really not feeling a song, I can hear it. And so I take it off the set list for a while. You just have to do that. Violins is a lag wagon song that may have never not been on the set list since we put it out. That you always have other songs that are new and you know, as long as you keep working, there's always something else. So it balance, there's a balance. It happens as the longer you're in a band, and I have seen our band many times for years and years, we're playing almost the same set and it really bothers everyone in the band, but no one says anything because nobody really wants to bum anybody out, you know, so we just kind of get together and we have little jokes, lots of them. You know, like someone will yell at me on stage like, come on Razorburn, you know, like because Razorburn is often the last song in the set. And so if, a, if somebody in the band is feeling sort of uninspired on stage, but just kind of trying to do it, they'll yell, come on Razorburn. Like, because as soon as we get there, we know we're done, you know. You have to pay attention and you have to talk about it and we do every once in a while. And when we do, we, we try to add some new stuff. And you can just feel it. It happens on tour sometimes, in the middle of a tour or even a weekend, I'll think, this isn't working. And then I'll say it at soundcheck, I'll say, let's bring some other material and you guys seem really like not into this. And somebody will say, yes, and then we do it. It's like a family, you know? The difficult thing is that you want to play some kind of the same songs because you've got to get really good at playing them. There's a chemistry element when you're on tour. It's like if you're a band that changes your set list every night, then you never really get into a groove, you know? And you sort of, there are elements to it that you have to, there is some repetition. And repetition is somewhat good because, yeah, you have to get the chemistry, you know?